Yo, what's up guys, it's me, Paradox Gaming here with another How to Game video. In this video we are going to be explaining how to play Among Us and some amazing tips and tricks. Okay, so let's get straight into our first game and once we are in we can explain the game. So this is a multiplayer game where you have between... I think it's six players and ten players, but normally you have ten. And then there's tons of different settings, so you can have one, two, or three imposters, and there's three different maps. I will be focusing on this map, however, I will play a f give a few tips for the other maps. So, as you can see, first game, I am imposter. So, two people get to be imposter, and you can see you have fake cut tasks. So you have to fake these tasks and kill everybody else. You can also use your map to tell you where they are. And the whole point, this is a quick game because there's not many tasks. So I'm just going to do a quick kill there, then and get out of here. I shall then use my sabotage to try and lock that down. Uh, no, somebody's already used there. Okay, so that was too late. So now everybody comes together and you chat and try and work out who the imposter is or if you are the imposter then you just say yeah. So I'm going to say I was in lower storage by garbage because there was a garbage challenge, not challenge but like a garbage task down there so the main thing about getting this game right is to learn where the tasks are and then try and work out where they are and because there wasn't many players we've already won because they voted out the wrong players so normally the games won't be that quick and you can also play this game on discord with friends so like everybody will mute and until it's a meeting but I shall leave and come back to you guys when we are into a new game. Okay, so right, we've got into a game, it's 8 out of 10 players and it should be starting sometime soon. So as you can see on the right there's a ton of different settings and you should be able to understand these settings on your own, but the main ones are the tasks. So you have common, common tasks, long tasks and short tasks. So there are two common tasks on this map. The two common tasks are admin card swipe and electrical wires. So everybody will have the same common task and if you don't have the common task, nobody will. So if people are faking the wrong task or stuff like that, then you can tell they're the imposter that way. So yeah, you can also there's also other things that imposters can't do so when visual tasks is on there's certain tasks that show visually that you can do them and imposters can't do that so it proves they're not the imposter they are med get med bay you'll have green lines over you you have weapons where the can the cannons will shoot if somebody's trying to shoot an asteroid i'll show you that in a second you then have shields the shield bar will Flash, if somebody's done it, I was kicked. Great, I'll show you that later as well. And you also have garbage. The second stage of garbage is at the bottom and bottom in storage, as I said last game. And it's where all, it will just show trash coming out the bottom of the spaceship. So, yeah, that is how the main ways you play. You also have stuff like player speed, crewmate vision, and stuff like that. So I shall start the game. Hopefully I get crewmate this time. Can not sure I can show it from the perspective of a crewmate. And then we can get on with it. Someone left the game. Why am I so lucky with being an imposter? Okay, so it looks like we're in the imposter. Now, you can also sabotage. So different sabotages do different things. So the sh these are the shields here. And then the weapons are up here so these are the weapons here uh, hopefully you can see my mouse and now hello people we are all here yes please can somebody leave why is there everybody here um yeah so this isn't 
really ideal for us because yeah we'll just get him get him okay so I have no clue why he's not killing him okay so he now he could either he might say it's me and then he will get trust dark blue I'm going to say yeah he was sus found pink near green who's pink dead pink's dead dude so at the moment we're going to vote blue because we said sus blue is sus and people seem to be voting blue we're not the imposter blue isn't the imposter it's a win so yeah that's good and so as you can vent of course and there's four different well there's five different types of sabotages so there's doors that don't let you through there are oxygen and reactor which basically they have to do in a certain amount of time so you've got o2 which somebody has to go to o2 and somebody has to go to admin or you have reactor where two people have to go, two different people have to go to a reactor and then you also have communications which mean nobody can do their tasks which is just annoying and then you have lights which mean people can't see very far and that if you can't see very far then you also so like imposters can normally see decent way anyway but crewmates can't see very far and reactor o2 and light all block emergency so yeah that is a win i think he people left or something but normally they're not that quick so i shall exit the game and i shall see you when we get into our next game okay so from now on i have decided to go into free play where you can just run around so i can show you the tasks so there are tons of different tasks you have electrical here well no data here which is just a download upload you have garbage part one here you have a upload or download i think there you've got electrical there you've got weapons there you've got o2 there you've got the o2 sabotage there and another first part of trash there you then have wires there um some type of upload or download there and then electrical diode thing which you can only do after so that is a part two of a task um you then have electrical diode there also part two of the task you've got shields there you have electrical diode there part two you've got an upload or download there you have to do the download before you do the upload of course you then have in this room you have wires upload or download the o2 um the o2 thingy that like sabotage you then have the card swipe you have admin where you can see where everybody is in the map you can use this to track players who are venting you then have wires here um part two of trash here fuel here which is part one of a task because as you can see some can be more than one part you then have electrical lights with the sab the sabotage of lights you then have wires here you then have the di the diode part one so like you turn one of these up and then you go to the diode and switch it you then here have upload or download i can't remember which because i don't remember which one they are you then have fuel uh, you then have the al navigation alignment here you then have fueling here and then you have a diode here then in security you have diode here as i can show you it's just a quick simple diode you then have security you can see the security cams and you have a vent here of course you've got vents all over the place vent here and then here's reactor one and reactor 
two, so you need somebody on both of them to complete that task. You then have a diode here, you have Simon Says, which is just, you have to click on numbers to 10, and you have, that's counting we call it, and then this is called uh, Simon Says, because you have to copy a pattern on a task, so that normally takes a long time. Here you then also have a navigation and a fueling, same as lower engine. You then have a diode there, and if you go to medbay, you have the tube things. So the samples, you do that once, you then go off for a minute, and then you come back. You have medbay, where, where you would st you use it here. You'd go here, and if you have visual task on, you'd have the green lines. You then have the emergency button in the middle, and finally you have a wires yeah that's wires and then i don't know aha uh -huh, we can customize but yeah ah you can like so yeah as you can see you can also go through it yourself add all of the tasks and just go through them all and then you've got fuel engines prime shields divert to shield so as you can see there's a ton of tasks which you can get now if we leave this game and go to free play on this map now these maps that we should just turn all the tasks on so i should do that and then come back to you and show you it on the map because i don't fully know because i don't play on this map that much i do play it a little bit but we shall show you where they are all are on the map so i shall see you in just a second Okay, so we have a ton of tasks, as you can see. These are all the lights. Now, you can s the sabotages, I think, are the same. Now, I don't fully know the task. This is like, they go up in task. They go up in order. Um, not in task, but they, like, go up in difficulty, the map. So, this is the medium difficulty map. This is kind of annoying. I'm just going to shrink that. You can then go up here. The main sabotages are lights, which I think is there. You then have reactor and and then wait. So communications is of course here. You then have admin and somewhere else O2. I guess actually I'm not sure you can sabotage O2. I don't know because of course I don't play this map. You then have in here. You have to press these buttons. Wait to get. Um, decontamination and then through here you have reactor which is here you then also have a laboratory yeah so you then also have a few other tasks so you've got launch pad now the common tasks I there are three so you have no way I can't remember which ones you have but you definitely there's admin you have what else would there be that would um i don't know but anyway yeah there's different tasks and they're in the different places now like you have you have your admin and you have your security cams on that map in this map oh no it's, wait yeah it's in this map you have somewhere in here you have the logs now as you can see you have the logs where you can see whether they pass the southwest, north, north, south, east sensors. So I'm pretty sure that, th yeah, these are the sensors. So I should, if I just go like this, I should trigger them all and it should show me going around in a circle. I'm pretty sure. Now I don't know exactly where the sensors are, but uh, so I passed southwest sensor twice so is it that sensor i don't exactly know where the trigger is um that sensor i don't know but somewhere around here it will show whether they're in northwest southwest or southeast i think are the three options i should just check that e southwest southeast and north yeah so i was right so you've got logs there, you then also have admin, I think, and security cams, potentially. I don't exactly know, because of course I have, don't think I play this map ever, unless I'm just really desperate to get in a game and pick random. And this is the third tier of map. I do occasionally play this map, but again, I shall put all the tasks on and show you 
So this video isn't 30 minutes long, so including me having to work out exactly where they are all. So I shall see you once I've put all the tasks on. And we have all our tasks. So these are the locations. Of course, this is the hardest map, so there's the most. Now, in this game, you the common tasks are definitely, you have keys are one of them, which are at the dropship. You then have a few others, which I can't remember. Now, the main thing that you have in this one is vitals. You can see who's alive and who's dead. That is pretty useful. You then have stuff like the log and you've got tons of tasks and the vents are these holes some people don't know that and yeah that's about it now for to end off this video i shall go do one more game hopefully as a crewmate while i give some extra tips that i have Okay, so we are the crewmate, and there is only apparently there's only one imposter among us, which is interesting. But yeah, so as you can see, you can use admin and tips for imposter. If you're a crewmate, go straight to O2 and stuff. So yeah, and just do it instantaneously. Now, if you are not on a Discord and you're just doing stuff like in the chat for like emergency meetings and stuff then yeah just make if you do that then you want to use caps because it actually really helps just use caps and say it at the start and then prove why if you have a decent reason they'll believe you but if you get it wrong you're dead so be really careful because when you're not with a group that you know you can have some really stupid people for example, they will fake tasks that they don't even have, or like they will do stuff so, like they'll be really sus, like they'll just miss out on stuff, like they'll pretend to go in a room and then just they'll just do stuff like this to work out who's in it, which there's no point unless you're the imposter or a good detective. So I will still check the rooms because. I'm a good detective, but of course I get, I accuse quite a lot of people because I'm like, it could be a 50% chance, like for example, if it's about 10 to 12 seconds after the starting point, because you can only kill after, you can kill after 10 seconds, I would say chances are the person who reported it is the imposter because I saw Cyan, and then the whole point is, reading chat so people are saying cyan i don't think so because he reported i don't think so wait i saw red vote in that i'm sure of S red B bc he went in went went in and locked the door door it's red okay so red is a imposter because i'm pretty sure i'm not certain but you have to remember the game they'll be really sus like if you're in a voice call normally in this they're just not good enough to but they'll ask you what are your tasks and stuff like where have you been who did you see so as i saw red going in and then lock the doors i was like it could be red if somebody dies in electric and then it'll probably vent somewhere because vents can be really useful. Why have you voted Cyan out? You're all wrong. If it's not Cyan, I'm going to call an emergency meeting. Yeah, okay, I'm going to call an emergency meeting and get Red out of here because I am next to certain it's Red. So I'm just going to camp the emergency button and continue talking to you. So the stuff, the tips for imposter is to go for double kills. So if there's four people in a room and two of them are imposters, then just kill them both. So that's a good tip. Use the vents to your advantage and sometimes red, I'm sure. And sometimes if you're else, kill me. Now this is a bit of a ditched last ditch because otherwise they'll vote. 
Uh, not, not you, Red. PT. Okay, so I am next to certain. If I've got this right, that is some play. Uh, let's go. Uh, fingers crossed. I'm actually good at this game. I am amazing. What a play. That is a victory for us. You just, I'm just going to say play again. Just to say, G GD, that's, that's in a video. I'm a god. Yes, I am so good at this game. And, okay. So, I shall just go back into free play just to talk about the imposters and just run around. So, as imposter, like, make sure you to use the vents to your advantage, but don't be caught going in the vent, because, of course, only imposters can go in the vent. Now, be careful with this vent. It's right on the camera, and watch out for the cameras, because if you get killed, if somebody... And you can see if somebody's on the cameras, because as you can see, the red lights on top of them are not blinking. means nobody's on cams. But even so, it's not the best to kill on cams, because if somebody jumps on the thing just as you kill, you're kind of screwed. Then, if you see somebody have sus on you, try and kill them. Because then, especially if you're in a game with higher level players, then less so. But if you're just in a random game, more so. But as you can see now, the red lights are flashing. If there's an emergency, go straight to the emergency, because otherwise people will think you're sus. And there are a few... Yeah, that's about it. But yeah, if you have two or more imposters in a room, uh, if you have equal numbers to imposters to players, lock the doors, kill every... Kill the two non-imposters and then vent out of there. It's a good idea if, and make sure to know your, like how many players are dead and alive. Because if you're the imposter and there's three players alive, so and one imposter, so there's one imposter. If there's equal number of imposters to crewmates, imposters win. So if you're the imposter and there are three players left, and you start here, make sure to. Because if people call an emergency, then they have a chance of voting you out and a chance not to. You can then use your either you want to either go to reactor or reactor O2 or lights to stop them from being able to push the button, and then you can just have the time to run the cool down cool cool timer down before you can kill, and then you can just kill them to go for the win normally you don't want to vote imposters off in from vote on seven and th four unless you are certain because then they can just either dub if if you vote someone off at seven you have, then have six players left and two imposter if you have in two imposters left unless you're sure that w the first person to be voted off has is an imposter then you have six players left two imposters double kill two imposters versus two crewmates imposters win or at four if they vote them off then you can just do the same tactic as i have just said here so that is how you can win as imposter that is about all my tips and tricks for today if you want to if you like this video like and subscribe it really helps me out i do multiple videos on m all sorts of games mainly minecraft and subnautica but apart from that bye for now see ya